Hello everyone and welcome back to my second video. In this video I will show you how to make this cabin. Let's take a quick look around the cabin. There is a little goo inside, they don't seem to despawn, so let's make it. First I already got the measurements, the main part is 2 by 2 and the porch is 2 by 1. I made the porch because it's a bit easier. This is the concrete, just because I want the doorway centered in. So, the doorway is set now, let's make the rest. I don't care for the repetition in this video, because it's only a tip and trick video. That's also why I used the console command for god mode, so it don't use up any supplies for me. Gotta, come on, just get it in. Here's the part of the repetition, I just use those wall ends because they're a bit easiest to place and it looks like they have a little window inside. I also must apologize because of the late video, I had a very busy week. Now this is the part, I wanted to go for the wooden look at it, but the concrete doorway isn't the wood, so... Now we've got a wood vibe, only those two concrete parts are going to be covered up, at least at the outside. Inside is the same idea as the outside, so you could do it yourself if you want that concrete doesn't fit up at the inside also. That is the window I talked about. Now, the, this is going to be the porch. I already covered it in the latest video of me. So I will skip this over a bit. And that part is done. Now let's take a look at the roof. Like you now already see, I placed in the wooden railings because it's look better than the metal in this part so the roof it is a bit finicky to get it in it is using a kind of detour and you will keep a little gap right at part of the doorway i will here show you it isn't even easy to get in this is a wrong wall just to see you how annoying it is to get it in and i screw up also this won't work I hoped it did work, but apparently it didn't, so let's get a bigger one. Just bigger is this time better. Here it will fit in, and I will show you it won't fit in at the same height. Here. It is now at the same height as the pillars, but it just won't fit in at all. Because those pillars are kind of annoying in this part. So let's take a look how we can alter that. It's just a little trick I use every now and then to alter just one floor lower or higher. In this case, we need to get a bit higher. I didn't need to open the bottom one. Let's get a curve away. And the floor. 
can be a bit annoying to get it at the right position, but it was snapping easy. Like you see, it is now one floor higher. You can pick that wall up, not score it like I tried. Pick it up. It will go up easy. You can move it around. And that way you can easily place in the w roof there. And it doesn't look half as bad. And that is the cabin done at least. Try it. Fix up at least the first part of the walls so it doesn't look as concrete as it was. That one doesn't get in close enough for my appearances. It just don't get as close as strangely enough as the other one. Here you see a little gap, what the other one doesn't seem to have the problem with. That one is pretty good at the wall. That one just don't. But let's rock glitch it in. For this I take place it a bit lower than the rock itself so it doesn't fly. Or at least it doesn't appear to be flying. Because I hate flying things. Let's get the rug off. Hate to leave a rug lying around. And now the second part. This is pretty boxy, so I take off a few walls and show you what to do with it. Most times you use those wall, uh, wall pieces with the roof on it, but they seem to be flying and somehow I just can't stand it. You can of course use the bridge as a support. In this part it, you, it is pretty good, there is only one block out. It's a bit fiddly to get good under it. Yes, if you go only take one part out, it looks good. But let's say you go even one further. Let's get those walls away. Let's play small floors. And let's place that one. It is a bit annoying to get it in. So I will try something and get back to you. And here we are. Now I finally got how to place it in. Just place those back. Don't need them anymore. Placing that wall. That one won't fit in, you always need to use the outer cap walls for it. Or just place those two, uh, two, uh, two in a row, but I don't think it uh, looks good enough. You have a little gap. I'm now thinking of what to fucking do with it. And then I reminded, yes, place those in. Those just work because they snap on the outside. Here we got a small gap in the roof. 
I will fix that gap. Let's see. Scrap that one. Don't need it. Don't want it even. That one is a bit strange. It is has a strange coalition texture. You can place uh, the normal flat roof just under it. Other way around it doesn't work. First that ro roof, then the flat one. And that's how we fix a gap in the roof. Now we got the box floating. Doesn't look well, but it's just for the ID. Because if you get two of those walls with the roof on it, it looks better. Here I try to just show how two bridges look, but it doesn't look great. For this, I'm gonna support the whole building one part lower. Just like I raised the roof higher at the porch, I now gonna lower the support, the foundation. I'm a bit messing around. This really, I didn't know what I was doing at that time. I just needed to get in the inside, but I like to mess it up. So I will skip this messing me up until I get at the right point. And here we are back at the point where I understand what I needed to do. Place that one on the roof, on the ledge, and go to the inside. Don't know why it snapped, just not. But sometimes if you lock at the outside and try to snap it in, it works better than from locking inside. Now I place that one in if it wants. Yes. Get that away. Just trying to hop a bit around. Doesn't seem to work that well. So we hop up there. And of course I fall down again. Well, shit happens. Now we're at the right level so we can start lowering that whole foundation. Let's place the last foundation of the base building in. Don't need those anymore, so let's start. We got a small gap there. And that is raised. So we just place enough normal floors just to get the elevation out. Let's place the walls back. Now we only have that part. Sometimes it just don't fit in like that. It has a few problems. It can be or just too low that it don't fit in. So raise the whole building. In my case holding E and, and get it elevated. And didn't really fit in. I'm still screwing around. I don't know what I try here. I think it just had a different coalition, the shack floor than the foundation. Let's get those out of the way. Maybe that's the problem. No, still not the problem. Still messing around. Small floors? I'm thinking maybe... I already tried this, come on. That, and that was the problem. The floor there was just in the way, it didn't snap at the wall point. Now it's fully spurred up, lower it back. Let's take a look at the yeah, stairs are good. Place everything back in. Boom, bloop. It's in. Just the walls left. And that was it. It's fully supported, that gap there. 
can be a pain in the eye. Don't know how to change it yet. Maybe a bit fitting around if you want, but for this video, I don't annoy it too much. I hope you like this video. I see you all later.